Hey guys, so I decided to build an AMD based computer this year. I bought my first AMD based computer around 10 years ago and it was an AMD Athlon. Then I switched to AMD Athlon X through 64 bit clocked at 2.4 GHz. I used to play Prince of Persia the 2 Thrones and 4 Cry 1 on that PC. It had a discrete Nvidia chipset of only 512 MB. After that I bought an Intel Core i3 laptop and I never went back using AMD. This year AMD released Ryzen processor while I was using my Intel Core i7-4790K. I thought now is the right time to upgrade as I do a lot of rendering besides gaming on my PC. It was expected that Intel will release a processor to compete with the high core count of AMD Ryzen series. AMD Ryzen is priced at $299 while the latest gaming processor from Intel offering 6 core and 12 threads with much faster single core is priced at $414 due to shortage of units. Although the lowest price is $379. In Pakistan, prices are even higher than that and Core i7-8700K costs around $460. Let's unbox this. In the package, you get Ryzen 7 1700 and Respire RGB LED cooler. It has RGB glowing ring on it which can be customized using RGB header of motherboard. You have an additional cable to connect to the RGB header of motherboard. You also get Ryzen sticker in the box. There is also a small manual for processor installation. Ryzen is not the best pick for gamers as most games are not using more than 4 cores. So a quad core chip with faster per core performance will do a better job as compared to 8 core Ryzen processor. If you are using Ryzen for video editing or content creation then it will outperform most of the Intel processors even a Xeon. For multitaskers like me Ryzen is a better and budget friendly option. Ryzen can be overclocked on a B350 motherboard while Intel has special Z series motherboards for overclocking. Ryzen series features AMD Ryzen Master Utility, AMD Sense MI technology, virtualization and Zen core architecture. Ryzen 7 1700 is the cheapest in Ryzen 7 series. Other processors are Ryzen 1700X and 1800X with higher base and boost clock speed. Ryzen 7 1700 have 3GHz base clock and 3.7GHz boost clock. It has L1 cache of 768KB, L2 cache of 4MB and L3 cache of 16MB. Cache is same in all Ryzen 7 series processors. All Ryzen 7 processors can be overclocked to 4GHz on liquid cooling. Max port is system memory speed for Ryzen 7 1700 is around 2600MHz. I also bought Corsair RGB 16GB RAM kit for this build. I bought this as some other boards are having issues with higher clock speed of RAMs. RAM colors can be controlled using Corsair Link. I am not sure whether these can be controlled using motherboard utility or not. I will update about it after testing these. I also bought an AM4 bracket with this so I can use my old Corsair HATI GT liquid cooler on the Ryzen platform. I will do the benchmarks after setting up this computer. I am waiting for the MSI 1080 Ti Lightning X for this build. Subscribe for upcoming gaming benchmarks. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another video very soon.